is a micrometer and it's calibrated in inches. You can get micrometers uh, that will be in metric and you can have some digitals that switch back and forth. But this is a micrometer precision measuring instrument and calibrated to inches. Now this, this particular one is, can measure down to ten thousandth of an inch, point zero 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 one. There's a couple parts of this micrometer and generally they're used right-handed by slipping your in, little pinky through the, this opening and using your thumb and index finger to rotate the barrel. This is on a screw. As we open this up, the gap opens. Each division of the mic is one thousandth of an inch. So it goes and it lines up with the zero on the barrel. So there's five thousandths, six thousandths, ten thousandths. A whole revolution will rotate to twenty-five thousandths and one division is seen on the barrel. Two revolutions you see, two divisions means point zero five zero inches. A whole turn uh, all the way out you'll see a, a number on there that says one and that indicates at this right there a point one inch. So that gap between there is point one inch. Now the other scale up, up the barrel is for the ten thousandths of an inch. And the way that works is once you have a setting you read which which number across here and at the zero point. So this is twenty. This would read point four nine eight and some more because this zero is past the past that. So it's point four nine eight, and then I move and find which one of these lines line up the best, which appears to be a four. So I would read that as point four nine eight four ten thousandths of an inch. Most people don't measure the ten thousandths of an inch, but that scale is there. So if it down to a thousandth of an inch, be point four nine eight. Read on the next scale to get the four nine eight four point four nine eight four. The use of this to measure a part, and here's a piece a standard block gauge that has been precisionly made and ground down to 0 .350 inches. So you hold the micrometer in one hand and rotate the, the spindle out. The anvils open up until it fits in here. Now the at the end of the micrometer is a a knob that has tension built into it so that when that knob starts clicking that means we're squeezing this thing tight enough to get an accurate measurement. And if you look at the look at the numbers it reads three and then two divisions past the three which each division is twenty five thousandths and almost exactly on the at the zero there it should be about right there, it would be point three five zero. Because we're past that would be one thousand one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, two divisions past of twenty-five thousands equals point three five zero. Again, this tensioner is what you use to tighten the anvils together. You, it's usually, a, and it's a, you know, it has some slippage in there, but still hold it tight. And uh, you hold the micrometer between, with your small finger hitting there, and just rotate a little bit. And pull, bring it up tight with the end. The next device.